All right, at Glen Estee, head coach Tim Gregory and uh, Kaylin Steinmetz. Uh, Tim, tell me about uh, this this hitter here. She's she's not all that big, but she pounds the ball. Yes, she does. She's been a uh, she's been a consistent hitter in our lineup for the past four years, and uh, she's always been in that three four slot. And uh, she's racked up a lot of RBIs for us over the four years, and uh, also home runs. And you coach her uh, year round. This is not just a, a springtime thing, right? I coach her year round, except in the fall. Except in the fall. What do you do in the fall there, Kaylin? We just have different coaches because he's not allowed to coach me during the fall. Okay. But not, none are come close to Tim, though, do they? No. I haven't found a coach as good as him. You're going to NKU? I'm going to NKU. And that, that was signed in February? Yeah. Yeah? How, how did that feel? Uh, I felt good because now I just don't have to worry about anything. I can just go out and play without having to worry about where I'm going to college. What persuaded you to go there? Um. I really like the coaches there, and I know a few other girls that are already there, so I think they would welcome me on the team, and I think I could do a lot of good, like I can help the team in whatever way they need me. Kelly Benhays is also going there. Yeah, she we'll roommates. You, okay, which one is messier? Me. You're the messier one? Yeah. All right, she's going to have to get after you then. Yeah, she will. <laughs> Um, how has, has she matured over the years that you've coached her? I mean, she's a, a triple crown uh, candidate right now in the, in the FABC. She, uh, I would say she's matured a lot this year. Uh, that, that's been one of my goals over the last four years is to get Kayla to mature into the uh, person and the athlete that she is. And she's, she's, really matured, she's really came into her own her senior year and uh, stepped up and accepted that role. How, how was she in the field? We know what she does with the bat. She's really good in the field. Got, uh, she got one of the strongest arms that, uh, that I've ever been around and uh, covers a lot of ground in center field. Um, how heavy is your bat? It's a 30, 34, 24, 24 ounces. Is it in softball, is it a minus 10? Is it what it is? Yeah. Um, the ball comes in there pretty fast. Now, it, now you've told me some of these baseball guys think that they could hit what you're hitting, and your reply is what? I don't think they can. It's softball is a lot harder than people think it is. Just the way they pitch and the movement of the pitches is just insane, and people just think it's so easy, but it's really not. Now, hasn't Kelly taken her boyfriend out and shown yeah. him a thing or two? He, he says he got a hit, but I don't believe him. Could you hit the baseball? They, Give me a few tries and I could probably. I mean, I've seen girls at, at uh, backstop that they go on. Yeah, I go, I go in the 70 mile an hour cage sometimes. I, yeah. I can hit it. Take, take some hacks at it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the, but the difference is the softball rises and does a few more things. The softball things. rises and the baseball drops, and it's easier for you to hit a dropping ball than it is for you to hit a rising ball. Uh, Tim, she's got some big power numbers. Um, when you see those numbers, you're expecting to see a girl that's about 5'10 and. Uh, pretty heavy she's she's pretty light she could probably run a mile I know she can run a mile faster than us well it, it goes back to a lot of work ethic she puts in a lot of time in her hitting and uh, a lot of bat speed and believe it or not she's a pretty strong kid for her size so it's, it's mainly the quickness that that, yeah. that gets the home she's runs. got really quick hands really good bat speed what's the, the furthest poke you've had um, probably at Milford this year, it went over the safety net, and if the fence wouldn't have been there, it would have been onto the road. I don't know how far the fences there are, but it was probably my hardest hit ball, and it felt amazing. How's your home run trot? Is it, is it kind of a slow, uh, taunting thing, or um, a quick, let's get it done thing? Not really. It's kind of in the middle. Tim always says, act like you've been there. So I don't showboat around the bases. I just run, give him my five, and go touch home. Now, you've how many at this point? Eight? Seven? I've had eight this year. At, all over the fence? Um, yeah. Yeah? That's, uh, I mean, not, not many girls get close to that figure. Most girls that, that hit them at all are hitting two and three, right? Right. Well, I think she's pretty much leading the whole city in home runs right now. I know you got, you've got a couple big hitters in the city that are going to some pretty big schools, but uh, Kalen's, Kalen's above them all. And uh, I think with the schedule that we played this year, we played one of the top schedules in the city this year, so so props to her. Are the fences any further at NKU? Um, a little bit, I think, but I'll do what I can. Yeah. Make contact and make uh, contact and hope it goes. Take your chances. What? Well, um, Chip Gregg is at NKU. Is that correct? He's the assistant, and then Kathy Stewart's the head coach. 
And uh, you like them as much as Tim? Because Tim's standing next um, to you and he, he might say something. Yeah, they're a lot harder than Tim is. He's, he says that I'll always thank him for what he does to me. Because yeah. when I get to college, it'll be a lot harder than what he puts me through. But you know what's going to happen now in your next practice. He, he's he's going to remember that. I know. <laughs> oh, we run some hard practices. We do. Of, of the girls you've had, you've had some great players here. I mean, she's got got to be one of the better, if not best, hitter you, you've been with. I, I, I have had the privilege to coach some really good players, and, and Kaylin is right up right up there with, with some of the best. I'm pretty proud of her. All right, Glen ST Trojans, Kaylin Steinmetz, Coach Tim Gregory, go get them.